All right, in this series of videos, I'm going to show you the grading process that I use for these exams. And um, this is an answer key. Um, and I actually want to write it up using a very nice colored pen. So the pen color I want to use is grape colored. because It's a nice friendly color, it's not red. So there are a number of standards we have. Um, there's CVPM2, which is drawing. We have CVPM3, which is calculating definitions. And we have CVPM4, which is reading. And I'm going to abbreviate them as drawing, calculating, and reading. Um, and I'll number them, too. So this is 2, 3, and 4. So for example, um, we want to describe the motion in words. Is it speeding up or slowing down? There, we're going to actually be dealing with reading graphs, okay, which is standard 4. Write the equation of motion. Well, we're going to need to do two things there. We're going to need to calculate, which is standard 3, and we're going to need to read the graph, which is standard 4. What is the object's velocity? Once again, you got to know what that is, so it's a calculation definition. And you're going to need to read the graph, which is standard 4, in order to get it. Where did the object start? That's going to be reading the graph. And where will the object be at 40 seconds? Well, there, you've got the equation of motion in B, and I'll just give you a hint right now. You're going to actually need to just do a calculation in order to get that. On the second page, what I'm going to be grading on, it's a little bit different. So we're going to sketch the position versus time graph. Here is the one time I'm appraising you on CVPM2, which is your ability to draw a graph. What's its speed at three seconds? Well, you're going to need to get the slope, which you're going to get by calculating and reading it off the graph. So you're going to need to calculate, and you're probably going to need it off to read it off the graph as well. And the same is true with part C. So those are the standards that we're using in grading this appraisal. And in order to get a 2 for a score, you need to get this right at all places on the quiz or on the appraisal. So we're going to go ahead and actually work through the problems and talk about what your grade would be.